people ask, when did you decide to write? And the answer is, I didn't decide to write. I was a writer from the time I could put two words together. I was writing poetry when I was six. I was writing skits and making my brothers perform in them. I was writing plays for the neighborhood kids. My mother lent us one of those velvet curtains, you know, when you put it over the garage. I was writing short stories all through high school. In fact, I went back to the school Villa Maria Academy where I had gone as, as a scholarship student. I couldn't have set foot in it if I hadn't been. And the math and science teacher, after I had 15 number one bestsellers, looked at me and said, Miss Higgins, you were a dreadful math student. So I was always writing. I was selling short stories uh, when I was 26. I st the minute I got married, I said, I now must learn to be a professional writer. And then I right away walked down to NYU and took a short story writing course. And the first short story I wrote in that class sold six years later for $100. But by then, I had 11 short stories in the mail. So I was always writing. And then when my first book, Aspired to the Heavens, it was published, it sold nothing. It became a bestseller 10 years ago under the title Mount Vernon Love Story. But it said, it proves I can write a book, and I am going to write a book. I was writing radio shows for a living. That's how I was supporting the kids. But I was determined I was going to write a book and write my way into success. And fortunately, I was able to do it. But when I was 15, I went down to New York, to Manhattan to work after school as a telephone operator in a hotel. If I got down early on the subway, I would walk along Fifth Avenue and have the clothes that I was going to have when I pick when I was a successful writer. I never doubted. I never thought I'd be this successful. But I did know I would be a successful writer.